Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, 2022. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. These brain breaks sure are helpful. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Jasmine, I saw you were talking to your teacher about extra credit. That's a good way to be proactive. Yep, I wanted to work towards my grade instead of waiting for it to be better. Amazing, I'm being proactive by finishing all of my imagined math. That's smart, working towards something is always better than waiting. You sure are right. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on word of the day. Thanks for that new word. Now let's go to History with Sophia. Thank you, Destiny. Hello, Patriots. Today in history, on December 7th, 1877, Thomas Edison demonstrates his phonograph to the editors of Scientific American. Thomas Edison was an American inventor and businessman. He invented many things we have in our modern day. A phonograph is a record-playing device that plays music with a circular disc. You may be wondering how this works. The phonograph works by simply placing a disc on the machine, which rotates the disc and produces sound waves. Nowadays, we have phones and radio, so we don't really use phonographs anymore. It's so crazy how the way of using music has changed. Now let's see what's cooking with Alexander. Thank you, Sophia. Today's tasty lunch is chicken patty, turkey and ham sandwich, fresh broccoli, pears, and your cheese and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole wheat, jelly, cinnamon, graham crackers, 100% orange juice, assorted cereal, and your some milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and always remember to bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Alexander. Super Patriots, this quarter's instructional software challenge is coming to an end soon. All of you still have time to get those lessons done. Just keep putting your mind to it and you're sure to get them done. Take a look at the flyer to see what is required. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school, so make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. NWEA winter is coming to an end. Today, K-1 through first graders are taking their NWEA reading test. Take a look at the testing schedule to see when it's your time to test. Good luck! Patriots, our Epic Sports Fun Day Plus Color Run is coming up. Make sure to tell your parents to register you so you can participate in the sports stations. And for even more fun, raise $30 and you can participate in the color run. Use the description below to register. I can't wait for the color run. Sports fans, today is the final call for girls soccer trials. They will be from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the gym. You must have a complete grade paper, parent permission slip, sports packet, and your grades have to be a C or better, including behavior. Good luck to all of you that try out. Students, the Patriot Store is open every morning till 7.55. Make sure to go on your day before it closes. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th graders' turn to buy some cool items at the Patriot Store. Make sure to bring your tickets. 3rd through 8th graders, if you ever wanted to be on the morning announcements, today is the last day to sign up. If you want to participate in our new game show segment, make sure to sign up. If you're interested, sign up outside room 200. Keep getting in the Christmas spirit by participating in this month's Christmas theme activities. Tomorrow, December 8th, it's time to get comfy and cuddle up in your favorite holiday pajamas. 
I can't wait to get comfy. The Ugly Sweater Party is coming up, Patriots. It will be on December 16th from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. There will be music, food, games, and prizes. Make sure to pay before December 14th to come to this party. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like an 83 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today's a good chance to take a walk outside. In other weather news, volcanoes have been erupting in the news lately. There's one in particular that's really making headlines. Mauna Lua, the world's largest active volcano, erupted in Hawaii for the first time in four decades. On the other side of the earth, an Indonesian volcano mountain, Semeru, released rivers of lava and ashes into the atmosphere. This may seem like the world is ending, but it's actually pretty normal for the earth. Every day there's about 50 volcanoes eruptions, all in different stages. These are definitely a sight to see, but not a need to concern. Now let's go to Nia for our birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Michelle Jamie Doival, Alexander Doyville, Natalia La Rosa, and Aiden Sierra. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Nia. Patriots, here are your pets' expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Arnold, Miss Pardinez, Miss Merkel, Miss Silvera, Miss Cavalita, Miss Sands, Miss Ivdenqua, and Miss Santiago. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, which popular Christmas beverage is also called milk punch? The correct answer was eggnog. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. A boy and a doctor are fishing. The boy is the doctor's son. However, the doctor is not the boy's father. Who is the doctor? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.